Hi, my name's Kate. I'm the owner and creator of Kate and Burl Designs in Tucson, Arizona. And I'm actually going to be doing this video with a product that I've never used before. So you guys get to experience this with me as I kind of try to figure out how to use this product. So I've read the directions, obviously, because that's what you want to do when you have a new product. So I'm going to be bleaching wood. So Basically, what I've done is I've ordered the Zinzer Wood Bleach, okay? Um, and it's a part A and B kind of product, okay? And it's liquid. So basically what it says is I'm supposed to, I've, and I've already gone ahead and prepped my drawer fronts for this piece and sanded them down and got them down to kind of the raw wood, okay? So it says spread a solvent resistant, da 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 newspaper, okay, protect. I work on a rubber mat, so I'm fine. Um, it says that I need to protect my eyes and skin, and I have gloves, wear safety goggles, and a chemical resistant glove. Got it. Okay. Um, so it says apply solution A with a new sponge, completely saturating the area to be bleached. You're supposed to let it stand for five minutes to for softwoods and 10 minutes for hardwoods. While the surface is still wet, use another sponge. So I let it sit and right and saturate. And then it says, um, while the surface is still wet, use another sponge to apply solution B over solution A. And then I'm supposed to let it stand overnight to dry, okay? And then it says, sand lightly to remove residue and lighten wood. I have been told that I have to also use a vinegar and water 50-50 mix to neutralize this bleach. So it doesn't put that in the directions, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they did, um, but it doesn't It doesn't say that at all on here. Um, let's see. So this is these are the directions on the back of, of A. Wood surfaces must be in finished or completely stripped finished wax or polish. Um, rubber or plastic gloves should be worn to protect your hands. I went and got chemical resistant gloves. Um, use a separate or plastic container for each solution. Okay, so I should probably go get a, a container really quick. Um, do not mix B with A solution or with any other product. Care should be taken not to spill contents on surrounding areas. Apply solution A to saturate entire area. Let stand approximately five minutes for softwoods and 10 minutes for hardwoods. Apply solution B while surface is still wet. Rubber sponges or nylon brushes are ideal for applying bleaches. Use a different one for each solution. After bleach area is completely dry. Yeah, it says sand lightly to remove salt residue. So, ah, uh, here we go. When two applications of wood bleach are used, the surface should be neutralized. So if I'm gonna do two applications, it says that I'm supposed to neutralize it. I'm probably still gonna neutralize it no matter how many applications I do. So that's gonna be fun. Um, I need to get something to put this in. So give me two shapes and some, some bowls that I'll have to make sure I put solution A in and then solution B, right? I've got two sponges. Obviously, I'm not going to use this side. I'm going to use the soft side. I have my chemical resistant gloves right here. I had to get a size medium. I have really small hands, but they didn't have the smalls or they were gonna take forever to get here. So the mediums are gonna have to do, cover me up. There we go. Just probably put my goggles on too. Well, I, well, I can. These goggles need to be cleaned. <laughs> You'll barely see. puppies on it said chemical see and it said chemical resistant on the box and then when I actually read the back of a it didn't say chemical chemical resistant so that's interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up there's a plastic seal break that and I'll pour this into here Treat my sponge with it. Okay. And then it says I'm supposed to just wipe it on here, right? It doesn't have kind of 
of brings out the odor of the wood. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> already. <laughs> okay. It's like wiped that right off already. Okay. I'll go ahead and bring this drawer over. It's a little how dark it made the water though. Ooh, gross. Okay. All right. So it says well it's still wet. I'm supposed to be putting solution B on. I guess I'll get this wet again over here. I'm really good at usually messing things up, so I might I might totally royally mess this up. It's also possible. Okay, solution B. Uh oh, uh oh. Let me grab. Some Solution B. All right. So I can actually see this one over here totally changing color. Let me get this one done. Okay, so let's do let's do this one. doesn't really have a smell to it either, so it's kind of nice. Okay, I kind of want to take these, let me take my goggles off. I'm wiping this down. Okay, well this is actually really cool. So one of them's reacting. <laughs> Let's see, the other ones are supposed to sit, right? I'm really bad at keeping track of time. Okay, so this one was the very first one that I did. And look, you can see here, it's reacting, right? So in here, you can see all the different ways that it's reacting, but this middle section isn't. So that's really interesting. So, I don't know what's up there. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do is something that I hate doing, which is let it sit and be patient and see what happens. I know. Oh. 
okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, so we are back. This is day two, and this is gonna be my second application of uh, the Wood Bleach by Zinzer that I'm gonna be using. Again, remember, it's a two-step application, so I have to do part A and part B. I was not very good at waiting a full five minutes for part A yesterday, so we're gonna wait the full five minutes, all right? So that is happening. Um, this is the result that I have so far. A few of the drawer fronts feel like they're a little bit splotchy and I'm not happy about that, but I'm thinking with a second coat, it's gonna even all the tones out and we're gonna be good. And then I'll be able to do a nice light sand over the top um, to kind of get any film off, which is what I did already this time around. So I did a little light sand. You can see like this drawer right here, didn't end up being quite as light as this one. Okay, so this one needs to get a little bit lighter. Um, obviously, there's gonna be some, some gradient and differences in the shade and things like that, but I wanna get them as close as possible. Um, and then again, I'm painting the rest of the dresser, so the drawers are gonna be kind of like the whitest, whitest. Um, and then my plan is actually to finish them off with a white wax to really kind of lighten them up even further. So I think it's gonna be really cool as long as I can get it all done the way I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the part A again over all the drawer fronts, and then I'm going to wait the five minutes the way I'm supposed to, and then we'll do part B, okay? So goggles are on. Gloves are up. These gloves are quite entertaining for me. <laughs> and I need to put part A. I can do this. Part A. I love how it my glove sounds so squeaky. Size mediums do not fit my little hands very well. So I'm actually gonna need to get some more solution in here. This is not. That's it. So if I have to do another application, I guess I'm going to have to order some more. So I hope I don't. Okay, it's been five minutes for this drawer. So yeah, so let's get solution B ready to go. How about that? Maybe if I can get this thing off.
first drawer. Second drawer. This one dried really fast already. I hope this one's going to be okay. Remember, I'm supposed to technically apply it when it's so wet. For some reason, it's drying super crazy fast. So there is the drawer, pretty much dry. These are the ones that are still drying kind of in front of it, right? So you can see the difference between the lightness and how dark this still is, but it's still drying. That's why it's still dark. So this one I put a hair blow dryer to on cool, not, not hot, okay, on cool and let it basically dried it, right? But it still has the residue on it, so we need to cut that with the vinegar and water solution. So I'm gonna go mix that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so still drying, obviously. I actually wanna get some of that off of there. Okay, so this is my I already had vinegar at the bottom of this, so I had about like that much vinegar. So now I have about 50-50. And I'm just gonna pour it onto a rag and into a bowl kind of thing. So I've got a rag right here and a bowl. And basically what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to neutralize the bleach, right? So it's supposed to stop it from kind of continuing down the bleaching path, okay? So I'm still getting even residue coming off of there, which is crazy. So let's go ahead and let's see. I kind of get everywhere on here. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and dry this again. And you can see like this one is getting drier, right?
Okay, so you can see, look how light that is, even in comparison to this one right here that's still drying. This has gotten so incredibly white and bleached out, it's crazy. Of course, anytime I add anything like wet to it, it changes its color back and goes back to a darker color. It's not as dark and pigmented as it was before, but you can see like my gloves are so wet and like I touch that spot and it turns wet again, right? And it becomes, it becomes like a darker shade. So I kind of want to seal it with white wax is what I'm looking to do. So while these are still drying and this one's kind of this process is sped up for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some white wax um, and see what happens. And hopefully I don't hate it because wax is a pain in the butt to try to get off, right? So there's the drawer. You can see how much lighter it is. Like this one's still drying. Look at the difference right there, okay? So check it out. It's pretty crazy. Why is all white wax? On my brush. Eek. Eek. Kinda like it. Wow, wicked. This is pretty cool you guys this by the way I didn't need to sand it down anymore it was so smooth but I might have to sand down some of the other ones just like a light hand sand I don't know if you guys can see the kind of texture that this is giving this piece it's pretty cool almost creating kind of like a limey look to it. Like a weathered. It's really getting rid of any of those other like yellow tones that might have been floating, which is nice. I love that. Might have been cool to do a gray over the top of this too, but I'm really digging the white. Wow. So check it out. With the white wax on it, look at that. So wicked. I'm just gonna wipe off any excess. And yeah, I really, really am digging this. This is so close to the look that I was going to want to achieve anyways. So this is absolutely perfect. This is gonna go great with the color that I hopefully have chosen for this dresser. So I, um, I'm not sure if I 100% like the process. It's a little messy, it's a little rough. I'm not patient, so waiting for something to actually <laughs> finish bleaching or, or something like that is kind of annoying for me, but it did definitely get me some really, really cool results. And so for that, I say this is pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Um, so this is definitely giving me that old, worn, weathered, oaky feel and really, um, it really neutralized a lot of those golden tones. I wouldn't say it's completely, completely gone. I definitely like maybe could have done one more bleach with it, but I'm watching these slowly dry and they're looking really, really good. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. So I would, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. It did its job. Um, and I really like this effect that it's given plus the white wax overlay on this really just enhances it and and gives it a totally different look and feel as well so i'm really i'm really glad i decided to do that that weathered uh white wax look to it so
Thanks so much, guys. I hope this helped a little bit on your uh, wood bleaching endeavors for the future. If you like this video, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified when new videos are coming up. I have a lot of different painting videos, a lot of different techniques, blending. I've got some gel staining, some glazing, all that good stuff. So until next time, have a good one. Bye.